Douglas, what are you doing? Come on, Douglas, what are you doing? This is part four of the Main Central Railroad, building and designing the Main Central Railroad, and this will be on the branch lines. I wanted a high impact scene when people came down the stairs and entered the train room. I did that by using the crossing of Route 1 and the Androscoggin River by the Lewiston Lower Branch, a very scenic area and very recognizable if you live in Maine. As designed, this scene had a couple of problems. Number one was the Rockland Branch went underneath the same area that the bridge scene was going to be. And I also ended up putting part of the DCC system underneath that corner there where the helix was in order to provide power to that side of the room. But uh, actually in the end, the extension and the uh, changes actually made the layout a little bit more scenic in this area. This is a view of the bridge scene from the bottom of the stairs. So when you walk into a room, you see that Androscoggin River crossing and you also see the Route 1 highway on the left. This scene is not fully finished at the Route 1 Part of it, I'm going to put a mirror behind the bridge there to reflect the highway and give it more depth. I also plan on putting a mirror at the end of where the Androscoggin is and to have that reflect farther back in there. And the next scene that comes after the bridge crossing is the actual crossing of Interstate 295 over the Lewiston Lower Branch. This has uh, been back and forth. It was 295, I think, at one time, and now it's 95. There were three branch lines on the lower road. The Cabusa Conti branch, which we already talked about in the upper level video. The Lewis and Lower branch, which we'll talk about next. And the Rockland branch, which we'll talk about at the very end of this. The Rockland branch is not modeled, but was also an interesting branch. I just want to go over what it would have been if I could have modeled it. The first point of interest in leaving Brunswick was Pajeep Scott Mills. Here a long spur descended from the rail height down to the river level. And at the end of the spur was a paper mill owned by Hearst Corporation. After the paper mill, we had Lisbon Falls, where there was a chipboard plant that had quite a bit of traffic. And it also had a station that had seen better days, which was very monogenic. The last comment I'll make about this particular part of the uh, Lewiston Lower Branch is I had to actually reverse the way that the trackage worked and, and the, where the chipboard mill was and where the paper mill was to make it fit in the space. So everything's almost a mirror image of what is actually there. So here we see the detail drawing with the paper mill, which is now on the opposite side of the tracks and 180 degrees out from the way it is in the actual uh, drawing. The Lisbon Falls Station and Freight House was in the corner of the room and actually was right in the corner, not as drawn here. The chipboard mill was on the opposite side of Lisbon Falls than it is in the actual drawing. However, I fell into the trap of trying to put more track than probably was necessary and ran it down a long wall, which made it difficult to reach. It has since been revised, as you'll see in the uh, photographs, but uh, again, you start with an idea and then you actually try to implement it and find out that it doesn't work as well. We are now at the end of the branch of Lewiston Lower, and this is the actual uh, portion of Lewiston that the lower branch went to. Roy Brothers was a key industry in this branch, but it was at the long 
end of a spur that I had no room for on the layout, but I did include it and you'll see in the actual picture. The next area of interest was the Cedar Street Yard. This was a set of three team tracks that saw a lot of uh, uh, different types of loads coming through. It was important to the operating of the layout. For this portion of the layout, I tried to stay as true as possible to the actual diagram that is shown here. So from Cedar Street down to the main yard, I pretty much copied this track line. The first industry is Simpsons Plastics, which is fanciful, but is named after a good friend from high school. Next in the design was the Cedar Street Yard trackage. And finally, we had the compact main yard and the engine house that was made from a freight house. I also used LePage Bakery as a industry, even though it's not rail served, it is an actual business here. Although I couldn't faithfully put Roy Brothers on this in the actual track design, I did include Roy Brothers because of its fact that it was an important industry in this area. And finally, I included the Bates Textile Mills complex because it was a big part of this area and very recognizable. In the following pictures, you'll see how I actually laid it all out. Music